because I think it's important for us to understand what it is, not just a classroom definition, but a definition that we can embrace as we progress on our project management journey. Two keywords, project and management. Of course, there are elements to project. The first being that project um, is usually time bound. So you can, you can continue project and say, oh, I'm doing this project forever. No, there's always a time um, restriction or limitation or constraint um, on, on project. And, and it's not just time that is the constraint. We also have constraints when it comes to resource. Resource, whether be it, be it money, be it people, um, there's always a, a constraint regarding resource. And of course, the time bound nature of project speaks to its temporary nature. Projects are often temporary. You, you know, you can't continue to do project forever. Project must be planned, project must be executed, it must be controlled. And no matter how much we engage machines and tools and technology, at the end of the day, project is, de is delivered by people. The people angle to project is very important. Just taking a quote from PMI, PMI defines a project as a temporary endeavor, looking at the time, looking at the temporary nature of project, and is undertaken to create a unique uh, product, a unique service, or a unique value. So let me ask you, a lot of us, we've, we've done something around projects in our personal life. For example, many of us had made a purchase of a car or a house, or we've um, desired to go to the university to secure a bachelor's degree or a master's degree. We, we didn't just go to school and stay in school forever. We were in school for a number of years. We got what we needed and we left school. And so that, that really tweaks the understanding of what project really is. The second angle of that is, of course, management. And the key element of management is around processes. So you are not just executing project, but you are also delivering project based on well-known process. Um, PMI says the reason why projects fail often is because there is no structured way of delivering project. And so within this space, management speaks to you being able to plan, being able to budget what is the cost, being able to break down you know, the elements of the project into smaller structures, um, into what we call the work breakdown structure, into planning for resource and performance measurement. And I really like the definition that Kota put across at the life of Mahatma Gandhi, and some of the things that his life represented and used it as a guiding principle in, in what I've presented here today. I know some of us won't, won't ever think Mahatma Gandhi is a project manager, but from my perspective, I think he is because he's a, he was a change agent. He made a whole lot of difference in the life of people. So we can look at his life and say, what does he bring? Number one, self-believe. For you to be a standout project manager, you have to have that self-believe, the belief that you have something to offer your organization, the belief that there is a value that you bring, the belief that you can help your organization move from their current state to a future state. The differentiator, never stop learning. A project manager who truly wants to stand out must continue to learn. And I, I, I'm grateful for everyone on this call today who are taking the time to join. Whether you are a senior project manager, junior project manager, or, or aspiring project manager, we have to continue to learn. Things are changing, things are evolving. Uh, and, and, and the more we learn, the better we become. Information is power, but knowledge empowers. 
project managers are often great communicators. To really stand out amongst the crowd, you must be able to communicate the why, the vision of the project. And communication is not a one-way street, it's a two-way. Not just being able to communicate, but being able to receive feedback from the project team and from every, every stakeholder within your project and work with them as a team. Walk the talk. The top percentile of project managers must be able to lead and lead by example. Or, you know, the standup is, is at 9 a.m. You don't want to be there at 9.05. You want to be there on time. You want to show that the project is important for you and model the change that you want to see. Walk the talk. And, and finally, the top project managers must be those that deliver results. Uh, I, I did all my best, I tried, I spent time, I worked with the team, but at the end of the day, is the result that we provide, is the value that we provide the organization, is, is the KPIs 